So I'm glad to say that uh, as a big Spider-Man fan, I'm uh, pretty, pretty happy that I get any opportunity and excuse to pretty much clamor over how godlike No Way Home is. 10 out of 10 movie, cannot change my mind. But this time, we're not actually talking about any of the Spider-Man. We're talking about one of their girlfriends. Let's get into it. What's going on guys, your boy Ooze back again once again, and if you're new to the channel, please of course like and share the video and subscribe if you haven't hit the bell for all the notifications. We're going to be talking a lot of Marvel related news uh, leading up to the next big hyped thing known as Multiverse of Madness. There's a bunch of other projects and TV shows and other movies that I'm sure will be coming in between then and now, but today we're actually talking about something pretty interesting in mary jane watson now this is kirsten dunst's mary jane of course as the thumbnail might have obviously already revealed there is a clear interest in her being involved in future projects now obviously for any fans that have been paying attention to this movie no way home specifically and everything else that's been going on in the mcu having mj the original mj make some kind of appearance in a future project future film whatever the case is is a no-brainer this comes from the direct i'm going to read you most of this article and then we're going to give you guys my thoughts in the year leading up to spider-man no way home the question was always whether andrew garfield and toby mcguire would appear alongside tom holland in fact that question did more for the threequel than its marketing team department ever could but almost immediately upon the film's theatrical release fans began asking a new question Will Sony revive Toby and Andrew's respective Spider-Man franchises? While Sony has yet to confirm a Tobey Maguire Spider-Man 4 or Andrew Garfield's The Amazing Spider-Man 3, both former web-slingers have now expressed their own willingness to continue playing the Marvel hero. This is even something Marvel and Sony's current Spider-Man Tom Holland has expressed his support for. However, if Sony were to return to their worlds, what about their supporting cast? After all, Maguire's Peter Parker confirmed Kirsten Dunst's Mary Jane is still in the picture. Will the newly Oscar-nominated Dunst want to return if cinema's original Spidey has more story to tell? In an interview with Deadline, Kirsten Dunst, who played Mary Jane Watson in Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man trilogy, teased that there's still time for her return to the role. When asked if she would have liked to have reprised her character of Mary Jane alongside Tobey Maguire's Peter Parker in Spider-Man No Way Home, the actress kept the option open for this to happen. Quote, there's still time. I mean, listen, no one's asked me about anything, but I do think that, I mean, this multi-universe keeps going on and on, so I feel like that could happen. I know nothing, by the way. End quote. When asked in previous interviews if she would be open to returning to the role, Dunst actually called it a no-brainer and credited the original Spider-Man films for the positive impact that they had on her life and career. Dunst first appeared as Peter Parker's love interest and aspiring actress in 2002's Spider-Man, directed by Sam Raimi. She then continued to play opposite Maguire's Peter Parker in Spider-Man 2 and Spider-Man 3. However, the third film of Raimi's trilogy left the couple on somewhat shaky terms. In fact, their complicated relationship was something Maguire's Parker alluded to in No Way Home, while at the same time acknowledging that the two made it work. Amid the web of rumors leading up to Spider-Man No Way Home's release, there was speculation that Dunst would appear as Mary Jane. Dunst denied the rumors and was proven to be correct. However, given the odds of another Maguire comeback, she's likely to get more Spider-Man questions now than she's did before. So this next part that I'm gonna read verbatim is just a snippet of this next like sub portion of this entire article covering this rumor that Kirsten Dunst is obviously gonna be coming back as MJ. It's a certain part, I'm not gonna read all of it, but again, as always, I'll always include the link in the description uh, below. You guys can check it out for yourselves. But this one in particular, there's two little snippets that I do want to read because that's what I want to talk about. Since both Dunst and Maguire's former director Sam Raimi is at the helm of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, there are rumors suggesting Maguire's web slinger may make an appearance. It's also a rumor that makes sense given the sequel picks up after the events of No Way Home and involves parallel universes and variants. If so, it's also possible that Dunst could cameo as well, especially given her eagerness to return to the character and Multiverse of Madness's substantial reshoots. So, given the obvious that uh, there is literally no limit to the possibilities that can come from any of these future projects, especially with Multiverse of Madness, given that ever since we see how 
crazy things have gotten ever since Loki happened. And I, honestly, you could even argue uh, WandaVision. There is room for just about anything to take place. Now, I, if you haven't already seen the video where I reacted to the Multiverse of Madness trailer that recently came out, you'll know by then, or you should know by now, that there are teases of the Illuminati, which is a group that comprises of characters that are familiar and some that they haven't even debuted yet and some that are from completely different marvel films that haven't had any kind of mcu inclusion yet and the big one that obviously we heard his voice was for professor x from x -Men. you should tell him the truth no way nah stop so relating all this now back to how kirsten dunst plays into this i really do think that the idea of her making some sort of a cameo appearance in multiverse of madness is kind of a stretch because i personally don't expect to see any spider-man characters regardless as to how i might feel and as to you know how much i love spider-man as a character i mean i like when i say i love spider-man like i love all of them like toby andrew tom they're all godlike i love them for different reasons but now that this multiverse of madness is really starting to formulate itself into such a madness of a movie like they're really taking its it, their, its own title to heart i guess having some sort of a cameo from toby mcguire's peter parker would be, actually be really interesting and honestly like i saying something that i'm not really expecting right now so if they were to throw in kirsten dunce into that i would just have to question okay well like what exactly would happen i would imagine it would have to be some sort of cameo because i can't really see her character tying in in some sort of like big way like the illuminati would or like a new iron man character or anything along those lines the other thing that i wanted to mention was that i actually did make a video this past summer about kirsten dunst and the actress that played the one lawyer character from daredevil that they were spotted together obviously what ended up happening is that back then we all thought that oh yeah like they were spotted they're probably gonna be in no way home oh my god it's happening it's happening it's happening but it ended up not being that at all but i mean we did get charlie cox who's to say that you know going along with that in this article saying that they've been having plenty of reshoots who knows if they were spotted because maybe they end up having some kind of a uh, cameo in multiverse of madness or whatever else there might be shooting for in the future so obviously we're gonna have to wait and see but this is just some interesting rumor mill discussion to talk about and this isn't out of the insane impossible realm of you know probability that it could or couldn't happen i really feel like kirsten dunce it's not a matter of if but just when and how she'll make her re-debut or her debut into the mcu so let me know your thoughts do you want to see mj return and do you want to see her return in anything like multiverse of madness or are you actually hoping for a spider-man 4 kind of situation to take place so that way they can kind of go revisit where that relationship left off because you know like they were revealed in the article that they made it work as he said in the movie because i mean if you haven't seen that if you have not seen no way home by now like get on it like share subscribe and be on twitter all that good stuff supporting links are gonna be in the description as always make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect to keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside guys i'll see you guys next time